Hi my woodlot viewers, it's Grace Romer here with the Watershed Agricultural Council and today I am at the Sawmill Audubon Sanctuary. Very beautiful here, stunning late summer day. And right behind me is a fenced-in deer enclosure. So over here as you can see, we have this tall black fencing with these fence posts. This fence stretches about 100 feet and it's about 50 feet from our nearby trail over here, the Red Trail. The purpose of deer exclosures here is to keep out deer. So white-tailed deer have high populations in New York State. Um, and they like to browse. They like to browse on wooded vegetation on the forest floor, as we can see by the empty non-fenced-in portion over here. There's not a whole lot of vegetation down there, but if we look at the fenced in portion, we got some pretty good dense vegetation. So the purpose of deer exclosures is to keep out deer from browsing. Um, this gives the opportunity for the forest floor to regenerate and it gives smaller species some opportunity to have some habitat and some browsing space as well. So as you can see, we have a lot of young trees and shrubs growing in this space. Um, deer exclosures are used on private properties. If you're a landowner, you're more than welcome to put up one of these deer exclosures. Farms use them, um, preservations and land conservation sanctuaries use them as a way to usually demonstrate what deer exclosures do. So this is a really cool example of what you can do on your, your woodlot or somewhere you can visit. If you'd like to visit and know more about deer exclosures, you can go to the My Woodlot website, go to resources, hit directory, and there is a link to a whole bunch of deer exclosures in New York State. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!